Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to be flashing over Android 4.1 Jelly Bean on the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is the international version. Uh, I bought it from Amazon.co.uk. Uh, so it was Faryab which ported it off from the uh, Nexus. Uh, the Nexus and as you can see here it is 4.1 Jelly Bean Gene Nex OTA port. And so just to show you at the moment I am on one am light rom which is based on lf6 and which has got clockwork recovery already pre-installed so i'll going to be going straight into recovery and flashing uh, flashing the rom as you can see there's the look of the the phone obviously i've got my launcher there but here is the look as you can see and that's the tasks like so so everything is there you should probably know how your phone looks like so let's go into recovery and what we're going to do is do a full wipe and then flash the ROM well flash the ROM but yeah <laughs> I'm quite used to saying that now alright as you can see I've got um, touch recovery so wipe data I would obviously suggest doing a backup, I've already got a backup uh, done, so just in case I would do a backup if I were you. I'm going to advanced, wipe Dalvik cache, yes, go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, god it's going fast, um, and Android 4.1 Jellybean G Next, there we go, and as you can see it's installing right now. I do have a guide on how to uh, flash recovery um, with, uh, which will come with clockwork recovery as well so uh, you can check out that guide, I'll link that in down in the description and in the description there will be also um, the XDA thread, uh, Fireabs, Fireabs XDA thread there are a lot of things which aren't working um, on the ROM uh, but uh, let's try and see what happens so let's give it the time to boot that's the Nexus boot up screen as you can see there we go it's booting up now usually when it dims right Google text-to-speech engine Google text to engine okay fine welcome just a sec right Google account uh, if you use Gmail, so let's let's go for Google. Wi-Fi shouldn't work in theory. You know what? Let's just no, not now. Next, next, done. Next, right, finish, go. Right here we go. We're running Jelly Bean. Haha, <laughs> this is pretty cool. So let's go in to about phone and there you go as you can see let's go for android version haha -ha, yes the jelly beans <laughs> oh it's epic oh whoa sweet you can throw around the jelly beans what happens if I throw them all out this is pretty cool this is like a great time waster it's a new game it's a jelly bean game Ah, oh, that's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. I love the little Easter egg there. It's been updated. So as you can see, I'm on uh, <laughs> I'm on uh, Jelly Bean right there. So let's try and go through these uh, options over here. We've got um, we've got the look, which is a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit different from um, from what we're used to. So um, as you can see, it looks a little bit different. Let's go into data usage. Play me on VPN, mobile networks. Right. Sounds. So, got some ringtones here. These touch sounds are not working either, but that's okay. As you can see, obviously, we've got the uh, Nexus little thing there which is uh, useful obviously for Nexus users but for us as we've got the I've got buttons there it doesn't really matter security got face unlock 
turn that on. Right, so that's pretty cool. Let's see if I uh, cannot reach Google at the moment, of course, yeah, because I'm not connected to Wi Fi. That's a really shame. I would love to try that actually. It, it seems pretty epic. Um, so, yeah, that, that'll be quite nice to try. I'm not on 3G either, but uh, here you go. Here's the uh, his notification pull down. Just go straight into settings. A little bit laggy at the moment. As you can see. And then let's go for that. Pretty cool. Let's try and open some stuff up. Let's go into camera. Can't connect camera, camera doesn't work. So as you can see there's a lot of things which are not working. Gallery, not now. No external storage available. Obviously, I've got my SD card in, external SD card in there, but it's not picking up. Uh, browser, obviously, it's not going to work. That's fine. Let's do that. Let's see if it picks up my contacts. It doesn't even pick up my contacts. So, SIM card, um, as you can see, my SIM doesn't pick up my SIM either. And right, let's try it. Let's try this thing. So, if I hold this down, this comes up. Right. So as you can see, you can swipe away these things. You can hold these down, remove from lists, and you can hold it down. App to info, and there you go. It is quite fast, I've got to say, but uh, it's a little laggy in comparison to uh, stock S3. I would say, if if you if you ask my honest opinion, as you can see, that animation right there. It's a little slow to pop up. Let's go developer options, can change the animation, that's a new one, and there we go, now it's super snappy, a little faster, that's pretty good, and uh, we've got the widgets as well, let's go to widgets, and as you can see it's reorganizing it right there, so let's add some, let's add some stuff, Google, why don't you just screw yourself? I love you, but still, come on. <laughs> Gallery. And so there you go. As you can see, it's suggesting where to put it. You can't exactly see it with this background. Let's try and change background. And this is different as well, as you can see. Let's go for water. Now if I hold this over here, just there, I don't know if you're able to see it, but it's got a little line and it's outlining where to go. And let's take it over here and you can move it around as well. So there you go guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and this is uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3 international version running on Android 4.1 Jelly Beam. Um, and yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video, totally dubbed out. Take care, bye bye.